Billy, thank you very much for joining us in the midweek spotlight. It's, uh, it was a good weekend, a good time to be in the spotlight, a big uh, win for the clan against the Edinburgh Capitals. The atmosphere must be very good in the dressing room at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's good now and like uh, we're going on a little better way now, so it's, uh, it's always nice to be winning. We just need to make sure that that, that keeps going. So, well, If I can take you back to that game then on Saturday at Brayhead Arena, an emphatic 8-2 victory for the clan, but it didn't start off like we wanted it. We keep talking about this character of coming back. The team does keep coming back from goals down. What do you remember about that first Edinburgh goal? What were your thoughts when that went in early? Yeah, I remember that I was in the ice, so we have a like, long shift in their end. Like We got a couple of chances there and we just uh, held the puck and then we lost it. And, and then they go to our end and uh, they got the one-timer in the middle and they scored and we were like, oops. But uh, we came back nicely. That's 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 the good thing. So we got pretty much equalizer like uh, right away and then we scored another goal. So it's a... Uh, it's a good, good, good character there that we show that we can cut back, but of course we wanted to start better for sure. I'd like to talk about that equaliser, a little bit controversial perhaps in itself. It was uh, it, the, the official gave it right away, but it looked like it hit the crossbar. What, what, what was your view of that? Yeah, I didn't see it at first, but when I saw it in the in video after the game, I was like, oh, it maybe wasn't goal, but uh, like RF said this goal, it's goal, and it was an important call to us, so it's... It's nice play behind the net, like uh, Pats make a pass and Brooks is shot, but like like I said, ref, ref throws a goal, so it's a goal. Yeah, good to get a little bit of luck yeah. sometimes. Uh, then the second goal, though, you're involved in yourself as well. Uh, you're out on the ice with Mbak and Shadok as well. You're link linked up really well. A really nice, undeniably a goal that time. Yeah, it was a big call too. Like, and uh, We got good offense going on. Sully kept the puck first for a little while and then he found uh, Mike and Mike found me. and. Uh, I found Shaddy and Shaddy got the net, so that's pretty much it. It was a nice goal and like uh, it's nice to us to have like some some goals too. So it was good and good point two two one that and so it's it's nice. Some good confidence boosting points going on in the game as well. Obviously Brooks goes on to score a hat trick, and then also you have Craig Sescon with a with a big goal there. He looked absolutely <laughs> delighted to get that one in. Yeah, there was lots of good things going on. Like uh, the Seski goal, like uh, Buesa did to make. Like a really nice pass, and Seski went there and hammered it in the net. So nice goal and nice silly after that. So it shows <laughs> just like uh, that we enjoy the like hockey now, and that's that's always nice to see. And like I'm always that way that if you score the goals, I don't score so many goals that you, you can sell it all all of those for sure. So that's that's nice. And it's interesting. I've been watching the training this week, and there seems to be a real intensity. It's been happening over the last few weeks. People talk about a winning mentality. The team is on a five-game winning streak in the league. Do you feel like there is a winning mentality there now? There's certainly a combativeness uh, in training. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, like we, we practice like a couple of weeks now really well and we do it in battles in the game and not know in the practice and we do it like uh, in a hard way. Like we do it like same way in the game. So that's that's good thing. Like uh, when you do it in a, in a practice every day and you go to the games, you're like ready for it. So that's, that's nice to see and like uh, it's builds us more whole team so it's a uh, it's good good thing to like see for sure the guys are really battling hard in uh, in practice i've seen like a lot of uh, almost like game tempo practice is that is that the norm or is that something different or is that something you've seen start to happen yeah it's start to happen like i said a couple of weeks it's been more and more like that and sometimes like uh, it's battling more than a game <laughs> like sometimes it's uh, like a little bit like competition they're going on like nobody wants to lose those little games what they do and like uh, it's nice to see and like uh, I just said the guys like if you if you battle like this how we do in a practice if we do it in the games we have no worries for sure. And how for you yourself it's been an interesting one to come in and take on the captaincy role how are you enjoying that role and obviously you've been doing a lot as well with the club during midweeks I know you're on a school visit as well are you enjoying that role? Yeah of course it's a it's a big compliment to come here and like uh, be a captain of this team for sure like the start it was like when it happened, I was like, like a little bit like because I didn't know like the players, I didn't know. But now, now I feel now I feel actually good, and like I, I can be myself and like uh, just what I am, and like try to act like that, and try to like do everything every day here, like those things what I do, and show the people that uh, a little bit maybe different way to done. Like in you know, back home, playing a lot in Finland, and there, so like it's, uh, I've been I've been enjoying it a lot. That's that's the one thing, and. Uh, like I said, the school thing, I was enjoying that too. So it's nice to see like 
back home if you go to school visit it's like um, everybody knows hockey because it's the number one sport yeah so it's it's different now we went there like the kids know hockey they haven't been in games and everything like that so they they were like pumped up they're asking questions and like everything it was really nice to see them like teacher was nice and like the kids were great so it was actually really really fun did you tell the kids about much about where you come from yourself? Tell them much about Finland? Yeah, I told them. First of all, I, uh, I asked them to spell my name. That, that, <laughs> no, that's not that. fair. But they did a pretty good job. Like they did it like right, pretty much right away when we learned it a little bit. And then I then I asked them like, uh, can you guess where I'm from? And there was like coming first France and Ireland and Russia and pretty <laughs> much everything. Then then I said like, uh, okay, it's a little bit more like up north. And then one one, one boy was like. Oh, I know, it's an North Pole! <laughs> and I was like, ah, that's a good quest, but like, uh, it's not an North Pole, but like, maybe it was like we talked about Santa and everything, so he was like pumped up that. But uh, it was nice to, like I said, it's nice to, nice to be there, like, it's a great atmosphere. So I, I hope the kids come in the game, they said they will, so that's, that's nice. Oh, well, they've got to come and see our first ever player from the North Pole anyway. <laughs> yeah. Big games coming up this weekend, if they do make it to those, a big double home game weekend. Do you relish those things too? Like almost like you've got two home games in a row. Is that something the players look forward to? You're used to playing two games in a row anyway, but two games at home is a big opportunity to jump up the league, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And like, like uh, in a home, of course, you play your fans and like that. So it's uh, always nice to see lots of fans there and go to play with them. So it's a, it's a big weekend, yeah. And like uh, we're looking forward to that for sure. And like just a couple of days still waiting. So it's been like. Been a long week to wait like uh, that uh, Saturday, Sunday, but like it would be nice and like we'll see what happens. I will I'm sure that we go hard that weekend and we just keep going. Yeah. Two very different teams. Is there a different mentality around though when you, you play a home game on a Saturday and you have to pack the stuff up and go in the in the bus? But it's different when you've got two home games. You can leave everything there, go home and get that rest and really recharge. Is there a different way that players approach a double home weekend, do you think? Yeah, maybe a little bit. You know, you can have that little more rest and that it's basically if you could play home first Saturday, then you go home, sleep, then you go back to the bus and sleep again and wait till another game and a long trip. So it's a... But it is what it is, and now it's two games home, and that's really nice. So we're just looking forward to that. Coventry and Nottingham are those two teams. What you've, you've seen a bit of both of those teams now. We've had uh, success and and difficulties against both. What are you expecting from these teams this weekend? Coventry first. Uh, the Coventry actually, I haven't played with them, against them, so I, I wasn't there. Like I don't. I only know that like uh, the goalie is there. Like I played with him last year in Dresden, Germany. So that's pretty much what I know. That team I've, I've seen they playing like they started well. So have you got so, any tips for the team about beating him? Then little inside yeah, insider I, I tips. Might have, I might have something. So it's a, <laughs> but uh, let's see that after. But like like I, said, I don't know about the team. I'm sure this is going to be like good game and like hard game again. So we just need to take a points at that first and then go there against Nottingham. Okay. Thank you very much, Philly, for being in the midweek spotlight. Thank you.